DVD forecast for tomorrow, and largely it's going to be pretty good. Uh, we're talking about partly to mostly cloudy skies. Uh, throughout the day, I think we're going to get a little bit more cloud cover, maybe brighter in the morning hours. But as far as the afternoon, don't expect a ton of sun out there uh, like we have every day this week, just about except today, which even today we got a fair amount of sun this afternoon. Uh, temperatures peaking low 70s out there. It's going to be a little bit cooler as a result of the lack of sun. But notice we are dry until we get to say around eight o'clock or show a few showers working their way through the region and most of the uh, events I believe wrapping up at about that time there may be one that begins around seven that could go until that time but i think uh, hey 99 percent we're good here and again that was good out there tonight weather wise yeah we do have some alerts to tell you about if you're heading out of the beach tomorrow high risk of rip currents some big surf if you're heading out to the cape or nantucket i would kind of lump martha's vineyard in there even though no high surf advisor for you guys and also notice all of the light pink shading here except for the bays we're talking about a small craft advisory. So caution the boating as well tomorrow. But if you're heading down, I think the most important practical thing that is easy for, uh, you know, the average person to do is jump in the water. We don't have a lot of lifeguards on duty at this point. It's off season. Some beaches will still have uh, weekends, I believe, into September on some of the warmer, nicer days. I wouldn't expect a ton, though, out there tomorrow. We got some some nice wave action here. Uh, local beaches, South County, you know, into uh, parts of Southeast Mass. We're going to be talking about three to seven foot waves elevated as you head out towards the Cape and the Island. So if you're traveling there for the weekend, really some rough surf out there. But again, the high risk of rip currents for all. So I would caution, extreme caution, going anywhere near the water. Maybe just dip your toes and that's that. Uh, there are your tides for tomorrow. Again, on the boating aspect of things, good locally. But as you head out into the deeper waters, uh, that's when those waves again will be picking up out there. So play it safe, everybody. It's going to be a touch more humid. You know, you might want to jump in the water, might be tempted to, especially with the water temperatures still hanging close to 70 degrees. Here are your dew points right now. We're into the 60s, higher than they've been all week. You look at the last 24 hour change here, anywhere from 5, 10, even close to a plus 15 we saw this afternoon. Uh, just showing you again, we weren't at all humid. The last couple days, but it's been a pretty nice sizable jump here. We've got that storm system offshore, a bit of a tropical environment with that, and also the approach of the cold front bringing that in as well. But notice behind the cold front, hey, this is a good game. Find the cold front. Look at that right in between right there uh, through the back edge of the Ohio Valley. And look at how dry the air has gotten a big dew point drop across parts of Illinois down in Missouri and Arkansas as well. And that's what's coming for us come Sunday behind that front. So mostly cloudy skies overnight. We'll see a little bit of thinning of the clouds towards midday. Partly sunny at best tomorrow. Limited sunshine and then clouding up more ahead of the front. Uh, could get a little breezy ahead of the front as well. Quick downpour here. Your window is about 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. And it's not like everybody, anybody is going to get four hours of rain. That's just your window from west to east. Point locations, you can expect that rain to be in and out probably within about an hour, maybe a little more than that. So this is not all that bad. And look what it's paving the way for heading into Sunday. Nice crisp start to the day. Barely hanging on to 50 could even see some upper 40s out there and then a lovely afternoon a cool afternoon with highs only around 70 but they'll warm back up as we go throughout the week in what looks to be a sunny sensational week with highs near 80 could even make it run at 85 by the end of the week don't forget we're still going to have nice cool mornings in the 50s out there